August 19th was World Humanitarian Day at the United Nations. Here at the Geneva branch, a special commemoration was held. We have gathered today to pay tribute to all humanitarian heroes, but those who have been taken, both those who have been taken from us and those who continue to toil selflessly for their fellow human beings in need. Their ideals and energy motivate us to carry on in pursuing our joint mission. Every one of us can be a humanitarian hero. During the event, Sergio Vieira de Mello was remembered. The UN ambassador was killed along with 21 of his colleagues in 2003 when the United Nations office in Baghdad was bombed. His widow Annie established a foundation in 2007 in memory of her late husband. The Sergio Vieira de Mello Foundation presented this year's annual award to the Interfaith Peace Platform from the Central African Republic. Alors, le prix a été créé pour, uh, uh, this award was created in order to reward and to help groups, important persons or individuals who support dialogue in regions of conflict. This is the purpose of this prize. It's quite exceptional that these three religious leaders, the Interfaith Peace Platform, jointly help their three very different religious communities to find peace, dialogue and to prevent violence. À retrouver le, la paix surtout, euh, le dialogue et éviter tant de violence. And obviously, uh, this is a, a fantastic example of how different religions can work together and promote unity in a country. And uh, there are so many examples in the world where there are similar problems, and we really would hope that. Uh, the Interfaith Platform will be a model for others to follow. The Interfaith Platform opposes ethnic and religious segregation and helps to open churches and mosques to provide protection and shelter to thousands of internally displaced persons, irrespective of their religious faith. The Interfaith Peace Platform was created right at the beginning of the crisis. The crisis started on December 10th in 2012. Five days after, the pastor and the imam met with me to discuss how to respond to this emergency and how to protect lives that were threatened, that Muslims were allegedly killing Christians. So instead of having each of us defending his own community, we decided to cooperate. After all, in the past, Christians and Muslims always have lived together in peace in our country, so we said, no. This crisis is not a religious one, it's a political and military crisis. And we spoke with one voice, saying, all of us want peace and the unity of the whole Central African people. Yes, it is in this context that we created this platform, and in order to raise awareness, so that our fellow countrymen are not be used by politics that try to use religion by all means. So we met with our fellow countrymen to unite them and to ask them to stay together. There is now a collaboration between all the different communities. All of us rejoice about the fact that God has inspired us to unite and to confront these difficulties. Now we see the fruits. Peace is coming back. Central Africans are restarting to live in unity. Muslims and Christians are restarting to live together with non-Muslim and non-Christian communities. Today our efforts are recognized by this award and confirm that in the midst of adversity we still can be brave warriors for peace. So again we rejoice that we stood up and that our hardships were not in vain.